Receive it now with his stripes. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. I'm set I free. Healed, yeah. My mind, my body, my soul, Jesus. everything. Everything. Let it begin in me. Let the healing begin. Oh, Thank you, Father. Yeah. For my healing. The change that I want to see is going to start with me. Come on, everybody say. Everybody that I meet, I can give a smile. smile. And everywhere I see everywhere a need, I, I go the I extra mile. Come on, everybody say. Everybody's looking for change, but who will take the lead? Yeah. And the change that I want to see is going to start with me.
Hallelujah. We give you victory. We thank you, God, for the victory. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord tonight. I'm Bishop Greg Davis, and welcome to the first live show of the Word Network 2018. We are here right now, and welcome to, come on, let the healing begin. What a mighty God we serve. He is a mighty God, and on behalf of Mr. Kevin Adele, we want to say Welcome to 2018, the Word Network. We're bigger, we're stronger, and we're better. Give God praise for Mr. Kevin Adele. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you, sir, for allowing me to stand here. Thank you for the opportunity. If y'all could just give me this one right here. I'm just grateful to the Lord today for his many blessings today and all that he is doing for us. Listen, I'm excited about the new year. Anybody excited about the new year? God, this year spoke to me. He said, tell the people of God that no matter what, this year you will live your God-given dream. Somebody, somebody get excited. I need you to get excited. Let me, let me say it one more time. God said you will live your God-given dream. Everything else, everything that you've been through was a setup for this moment. And tonight, there is a number at the bottom of the screen. At the bottom of the screen, 855-730-WORD. 855-730-WORD. Right now, start your new year off with somebody praying for you. 855-730-WORD. There are men and women of God that are apostles and teachers and prophets that are there to pray for you today. I'm believing God for the most exciting year of your life. I'm believing God for a year that eyes have not seen, ears have not. I'm talking to every pastor that's watching right now. God is about, here's what God is about to do. Don't, don't push me, Craig. He's about to give you a aha moment. One day of favor is going to be better than 10,000 days of labor. Y'all ain't getting it. One day of favor. Somebody got it. God said, I'm going to give you one day of favor that's going to turn your, y'all ain't saying, life upside down. Keisha, you're the only one got it. God said, one day of meeting the right person at the right time, at the right place, gonna give you favor. Matter of fact, I prophesy to you right now, somebody is looking for you with their name, with your name. Ooh, yeah. Listen, one day of favor is worth 2,000 hours of labor. 10, you can't pay for favor. See, I, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give him credit. I was reading uh, 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 on, on social media. Tori Roberts says he said the problem is we think favor is money. Favor is not money. Y'all ain't saying nothing. God's getting ready to give you the kind of hookup that you ain't gonna even need money. Y'all ain't saying nothing. He's getting ready to give you so much favor this year. Dial the number that's on the screen eight five five seven three zero word. The Lord allowed me to write. I was sitting at my office at Starbucks. Everybody know that uh, my Starbucks is my office. Ray, if you could put it up. Uh, he allowed me to write 18 declarations for this year. 18, there, there they go right there. there. There they are right there. 18 declarations. It says, Bishop Greg Davis, 2018 declarations. This year, I live my God-given dream. And afterward, I will pour out my spirit upon all, all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your old men will dream dreams. Your young men will see visions. Joel 2.28. There's 18 declarations that I want to get into your hand tonight. By dialing that number on the screen. 18 declarations. Number one, this year, every chain of bondage and defeat is broken over my life. I will live in freedom. Acts 16. Number two, this year I will remain focused on my God-given dream. It shall and will come to pass. Number three, this year. Come on, I want somebody to say this one with me. Say this year. I will not just talk about the dream. I will do what is necessary 
to live the dream. I want to get all 18. I want to get all 18 of these in your hand. I want to get it to you in the mail. You got to dial that number on the screen. In addition to that, the Lord let me write a book. It's called Seasons of Preparation of Ministry. Many of you, everybody's been called to ministry. And in the book, God has given me 14 seasons that you go through. Number one, a season of preparation. Number two, season of isolation. Number three, seasons of struggle. Number four, seasons of distress. Anybody been through these? Number five, seasons of knowledge where you're just learning. Y'all ain't saying the pastor had you. Number six, seasons of sensual cravings. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm going to leave it there. You got to get the book. Number seven, seasons of controversy. Number eight, seasons of oppression. Number nine, seasons of convincing. Number 10, seasons of being untrue. Number 11, seasons of unfairness. Number 12, seasons of being set apart. Anybody ever been set apart? Number 13, seasons of supernatural intervention. Number 14, seasons, after you've been through all that, of being set free. God wants you to be free. I want to get this. I, I, I sense an anointing in this house tonight. I, I want to get this book in your hand. And then the third book, the, the third piece I want to get is called The Art of Spiritual Warfare. Engaging the enemy. Y'all ain't saying nothing, Edmonds. And expecting victory. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I, I, this year, this year, I'm expecting the victory. Y'all ain't saying nothing. This year, I am believing God that as I engage the enemy, I'm walking out with victory. So I want to get this in your hand. Listen, listen, listen to some of the chapters. Uh, chapter one, war has been declared. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Satan does not play fair. The enemy is in, uh, the enemy is in my mouth. How many realize that you can speak death over yeah. your own self? Yeah. Ain't nobody got to speak it over you. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to break those prepositions and all that stuff. Y'all ain't saying. The enemy is in my mouth. Number 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 four, picking your battleground. Yeah. Number five, do what it takes to win. Yeah. And on and on. Yeah. I want to get this book to you along with the other book and the declarations. The Art of Spiritual Warfare. Engaging the enemy, expecting victory. Seasons of preparation and ministry and the declaration card along with a bottle of our oil and we're going to also cut up the prayer cloths on tonight. This is what God has given me to do for the new year. I want to get you the prayer cloth. I want to get you the oil. I want to get you the seasons of preparation. I want to get you the declaration and I want to get you the art of spiritual warfare. This is the year to live your dream but you have to be prepared to live the dream. I am believing God. Somebody say 100. 100. I need you to talk back to me. Say 100. 100. I'm believing God. As you pick up the phone right now, there's 100 of you that will sow a seed tonight to the word network of $88. What does eight represent, Pastor Hatcher? It represents new beginning. God told me he's not only going to give you one new beginning. Y'all ain't saying nothing. But for all the hell, don't you preach for me. For all the hell that you've been through in 2017, he said, I'm going to give you double for your trouble. Somebody shout double for your trouble. Somebody shout double for your trouble. I want 100 of you now. I want 100 of you now to go to 855. 730 word and say to the operator say I want to live my dream tell them I want the live the dream package tell them I'm going to sow this seed of $88 this is the first seed of the year to the word network this is the first fruit to the word network y'all ain't saying nothing help us to preach the gospel we get the money but guess what you get you get the blessings of the Lord in your home because you helped us preach the gospel to y'all ain't saying it. right now we're being seen in over 80 million homes 200 countries I need 100 of you now that want the declaration card that want the two books to go to the phone right now 855 730 word 
and sow a seed of $88. Let the phones ring right now. I'm going to call your name. We're going to put your name in the prayer box and pray over them. God told me there's 100 of you, and I want to call everyone's name that give tonight that seed of $88. I believe in God for a new beginning. Prophet Alberta Johnson is in the house. Come, Prophet. Happy New Year, sir. Speak to the, what is God saying? Happy New Year to you. As I was standing there in the corner just a moment ago, I heard the Spirit of the Lord speak so clearly and said that tonight is a night of miracles. Not just for those that are standing here in the audience, but for those who are at home. But I also heard this, and I know that our floor directors are doing a fantastic job, Keisha and Ella Calloway, of getting us to move into the praise. But this has to be without their assistance. There's a praise in this building and a praise in your home right now. If you begin to release that praise to God right now, you're going to release the miracles over your home. I want 30 seconds of my time. I'm going to give it to you. Open up your mouth. Clap your hands now. Let's give God praise without the assistance of a floor director because God has been good to you. He's brought you from a mighty long way. He made ways where there was the way to be made. I want you to open your mouth in your home right now and begin to shout over your family. Shout over your future. Shout over your finances because this is an hour of supernatural miracles in the Holy Ghost. There are three things that I want to do quickly here. There are three things that I've been commissioned by the Holy Spirit to share with you this evening. And for 2018, it's going to be a very peculiar year for many of us. Things that are happening in our nation will continue to happen as they've been happening for years. Our government, entertainment, all over the world. It will continue to be that way. But for the kingdom of God, I want you to hear. For those who are blood washed and sanctified, there is a word from the Lord. That 2018 will be the year of possessing the gates of your enemy. It is the Hebrew year 5778, which means possession of the gate. God spoke to Abraham and told Abraham that your seed will possess the gates of his enemy. And then Jesus said in Matthew 16 that the gates of hell will not prevail against my people. I want you to understand this is the year for everything. We've been talking about taking stuff back from the devil for years, but this is the year. You're not just going to storm the gates, you're going to possess the gates, which means everything that's been illegally held from you. The devil has stolen from you illegally. Every family member that's unsaved, every blood-washed believer who hear me right now, this is your year to possess the gates of your enemy. You will not be without this year. It's your year of overflow, of increase, and everything the enemy has stole from you, this is the year. You will storm the gates of hell and take back everything that the devil has taken from you illegally. Number two, number two, number two, this is the year of the Holy Ghost advantage, which means everything that you do, the Holy Ghost is getting on it. I don't care what industry that you may be in, what company you may be working for, what your vocation may be, but everything you're involved in, you're going to have the Holy Ghost advantage. We live in a country where we understand what, what it means to be disadvantaged. And we understand what it means to be privileged. This is your year of supernatural privilege. God is giving you favor, and the men of God already said it. Beyond money, I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about favor. When you walk in places, it will shift for your favor. Everything you put your hands to do, 2018 is your year of the Holy Spirit advantage. And the last thing I want to say to you before I take my seat is 2017 for many of us was what the Spirit of the Lord said to me was a slingshot year. I said slingshot. He said yes. It was a year of pullback. The year you lost some things. The year of tension. The year of a whole lot of, of, of resistance in your life. And you felt like, God, why am I not going forward? Because you made declarations in 2016 and it didn't come to pass. But it felt like every step you took forward, you were being pulled back. And the Holy Ghost sent me here to the Word Network to tell you tonight that God pulled you all the way back in 2017. But 2018 is your year of release. And when God releases you from the pullback that you've been going through this entire year of 2017, when he releases you, the velocity and the distance of the anointing on your life is going to catapult you into a brand new place in God. What am I saying? What I'm saying to you is there are two things that are guaranteed in the slingshot. Number one, velocity. 
and number two distance and 2018 will be a year and velocity is not just speed it's speed in a particular direction and what God is speaking over this airways tonight is God is sending you in the direction of your destiny and your purpose and that thing that stood before you will stand before you no more and God releases you and you're going the distance not just 2018 but I prophesy 2019 2020 2021 when God releases you you'll shoot through every year and no demon in hell will hold back the blessing on your life now shout it here hey, hey. somebody just pull back so this is what God's about to do with me he's about to thrust me forward shout yeah Eight five five seven three zero word. I want a hundred of you to go to that phone. So that eighty eight dollars. I want to get this declaration in your hand. I want to get these books in your hand. All the way from the sunny place. I know they hated coming here this week because it's freezing in Detroit, y'all. I want you to give it up for my son, Apostle Michael Hunter from Florida. Come on. Hallelujah. Let's give Jesus a better round of applause than that. This is a new year, a new beginning. This is a year where many people will get married this year. I've seen so many unscheduled marriages for many of the women and for many of the men that is watching me right now on the World Network. This year, God says that you shall win. This year, God says that you shall possess. This year, God says that you shall own. This year, God says that you will never have to borrow, but you shall lend. This year, God says, I'm elevating you. I'm promoting you. I'm giving you uncommon, divine favor. I'm doing a new thing which will shift you to the top. And you shall stand at the top and look down at your enemies. And you shall smile and say, my, 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 Jesus Christ is good. Get ready, get ready. 2018 is your year of new beginning. 2018 is your year of unlimited harvest. 2018 is your year to possess the things that your enemy hold. Get ready, get ready. It's a supernatural year. It's a supernatural year to flourish. I'm here to give you good news that you're tuning into the right service at the right time. Yeah. Your miracle, your healing, and the creativity of the dunamis power of God is about to shoot you forward into success upon success and breakthrough upon breakthrough. Get ready. Bishop, come up here. Give Bishop Greg Davis a round of applause as he comes to minister to us. Your change has begun. I want you to put on your spiritual seatbelt and get ready for the supernatural ride. Lift your hands, everybody. I sense the anointing. Stand on your feet, actually. Stand on your feet. Pastor Dana, come. It's prayer time. Listen, when she finished praying, I want you to pick up that phone, dial the number, so that $88 seed today. I'm believing God for breakthrough in your life today. This is the year to live your dream like never before. In just a few minutes, I'm going to preach the word of God. And I'm going to talk about blessed, but I got a limp. Just a few minutes. J just a few minutes. I'm going to preach that. Because so many of you think, because you walking around with a limp in your life, that you can't be blessed. Pastor Dana, come on. Father God, we thank you. Come on and put a worship on your lips. God, we praise you for your goodness and your mercy towards us. God, we thank you because of your loving kindness towards us, your grace, your mercy, oh God. We thank you, oh God, because your word declares that it is better than life. And so today, Father, we declare in this place, hallelujah, that our dreams are no longer lying dormant inside of us, oh God. But we speak right now that every dream that has been put on the shelf, oh God, that you are catapulted.
exalting us into the anointing, oh God, to go forth and to do and to be everything that you called for for us to be. We thank you right now, Father, that we are no longer holding of the thing on the inside of us. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus, oh God, the thing, oh God, that has been trying to hold us back, the enemy that has been trying to keep, oh God, us from birthing forth what you put inside of us. We come against the hand of the enemy even now. We plead the blood of Jesus and we speak right now by faith. We shall live and not die. We shall declare the works of the Lord while it is day. In the name of Jesus, we thank you right now, oh God, that you put something so awesome inside of us that when we go in contact with somebody else, our babies will leap, our destinies will leap, our purpose will leap as confirmation of what you have done in us. And so we thank you right now and we speak it by faith that it is well in the name of Jesus. Every resource that we need, we thank you that it is coming. We thank you for favor with men. We thank you for checks in the mail. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We thank you, oh God, for the DM. We thank you for the inbox. We thank you for the text that is going to come unto us that will change the very course of our lives. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus that depression can no longer hold us, that regret can no longer hold us, that, hallelujah, hindrances can no longer hold us. But we thank you right now by faith. We speak it in the atmosphere that we shall be everything you called for for us to be. Come for purpose. Come for destiny. In the name of Jesus, we thank you right now in advance. We clap our hands. We open up our mouths. And we thank you that it is well. There is no weapon that is formed against us that shall prosper. There's no tongue that shall rise up against us in judgment that you shall not condemn because it is the inheritance of those that walk up right before you. So we thank you right now, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that we shall be like a tree planted by the river of water that will yield forth fruit in due season. In the name of Jesus, we give your name praise that the devil is defeated, you be exalted. You are Lord, you are our blesser, you are our keeper, you are the one that does it. And so we thank you right now that you do all things well. In the name of Jesus, it is so. Hallelujah. I heard the Lord, hold on. I heard the Lord say something just broke oh, right now. It. Something just broke in the spirit. Something just broke. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, shout on your bed right now. 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 Shout, nah, nah. Shout on your bed. Whoa. Shout on your bed. 855. Shout on. 73. Shout on your bed. Hey, shout on. Hey, shout. Shout. Because God did not allow your enemies to triumph over you. Shout yeah! Eight five five seven three zero word. We gonna cut these up. The anointing is in this place. Want to send you the oil. Want to send you the books. And want to send you these declaration cards. A seat of $88. Pastor Dana, who we got supporting us tonight? Blessings to you, Bishop. We are so excited for the women in the man of God that have joined us tonight as we celebrate, hallelujah, this new year. As we celebrate what God is doing in the life of the believer. Pastor Janetta Hatcher, bless the Lord, woman of God. What is the name of your church? Third New Hope Baptist Church, uh, located on Plymouth and Steel, our main campus. Thank you, man. And I'm the proud campus pastor at our west location, which is Warren and McGraw. 
under the dynamic leadership of Dr. E.O. Brand. We are so glad to have you. This show is centered around healing. What is God speaking to you to deliver to the people that are watching us tonight? You know, I, I, I thought about that question, and, and Pastor Dana, you know, the interesting thing is that it's a very simple word. God has been speaking uncomplicate. Just that, uncomplicate that, that everything that, that we're doing has become so complex and so complicated. You, you get a car and you don't even know how to use all of the things in your car, your cell phones. Everything has become so complicated that we are losing our minds and our blood pressure is getting higher because we are complicating what, has, what should have been simple. And I think about, you know, I think about how God, you know, in, in, in his infinite wisdom, how he sent his son, Jesus Christ. He sent us through Jesus Christ, what I call an uncomplicated miracle. <laughs> you know, it was just uncomplicated. It goes to a little girl and, 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 and Joseph who had no reputation. And, and, and she's born in a little place, Bethlehem, and, and, and in a manger. Jesus is born in a manger. And then the angels go and, 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 and share the message that Christ is born to some shepherds. The gospel has become complicated, but really it should be simple. And I think that so often in our churches and, and in the kingdom of God, we're turning people away because we're complicating everything with our titles, with our positions, and, and all of the things that we, that we go after that has nothing to do at the end of the day with the fact that God loves us. That, that, that we can come and that we're welcome, that we can be forgiven, that no, no, nothing can separate us from the love of God if we begin to uncomplicate our lives and return to the simple. I believe that healing will take place and we can embrace this new year with a new perspective. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Pastor Lady Lisa Butler. So glad to have you. What's the name of your church? Bless you. I bring you greetings from Mayflower Church. We are located at 2270 West Grand Boulevard in the great city of Detroit. And Pastor Douglas Butler is my pastor. Amen. I just want to encourage you on today. I thought about Galatians 6 and 9, and the Bible says, Let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season you shall reap if you faint not. And so, Bishop, a lot of times we only think that there is four seasons, but there is spring, summer, winter, and fall, and then there is due season. So I want to encourage somebody in today to stay in the race. No matter what you're going through, stay in the race. No matter if they talk about you, I dare you to stay in the race. No matter if they lie on you, just stay in the race. No matter if they give up on you, just stay in the race. Because sometimes when you go through a race, your body has to go through a conditioning process. And, and it's okay to go through the conditioning process because the Bible tells me that weeping may endure for a night. But I know that if I sleep a little longer, that joy is coming in the morning. Bless the name of the Lord. Pastor Eddie Sane, give us the name of your church and just encourage the people of God that are watching tonight. God bless you, Pastor Dana. We pastor the Garden of Faith uh, Baptist Church over on 2640 uh, Ewald Circle, where we say, come plant the seeds in the garden and watch your faith grow. I just believe in this season uh, of this new year that everyone's talking about new year, new me, and we're focusing on the things of the exterior, but what God really wants to be new is what's on the inside. We have to change our mindset, change our motives, change our mission, change our ministries, and we won't have to worry about misery because the Bible declares to us that greater is he that's on the inside of me than he that's in the world. The Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away and all things become new. So when things begin to matriculate and change on the inside, then you will be able to reap the benefits and the fruit on the outside. So don't worry about what's going on around you, but focus on what's changing on the inside of you. Don't worry about your size. Don't worry about your stature. Don't worry about your, your circumstance, your situation. Just focus on the joy that's on the inside of you because what happens is, is that you still made it. You're still here. And the reason why you're here is because God still has his hands on you. That's the name of the Lord. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. And we turn it back over to Bishop at this time. 855-730-WORD is the number to call for prayer right now. Even those of you that are sowing, I'm believing God for 100 of you tonight that will give a seed of $88 as I send you the prayer cloth. Yeah. 
that we're going to cut up here and anoint with oil. As I send you the oil, as I send you the declarations, you can't start the year off unless you know where you're going. That's right, right. Right. Seasons of preparation and ministry and also learning how to engage the enemy. All, all three, of the, I want to get all this in your hand. Dial the number. I want you to look at the book of Genesis, the 32nd chapter. And I want you to look at verse uh, number 29. 32nd, verse 24, I'm sorry. And Jacob was left alone. And a man wrestled with him until the breaking of the day. When the man saw that he did not prevail against Jacob, he touched his hip socket. And Jacob's hip was put out of joint as he wrestled with him. Then he said, let me go, for the day has broken. But Jacob said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. And he said to him, what is your name? And he said, my name is Jacob. Then he said, your name shall no longer be called Jacob, but Israel, for you have striven yes, with God yes. and with men and prevailed. Glory. Then Jacob asked him, please tell me your name. But he said, why is it that you ask my name? And there he blessed him. So Jacob called the name of the place Peniel and says, for I have seen God face to face, yet my life has been delivered. The sun rose upon him as passed in Peniel, limping because of his hip. I'm blessed, but I got a limp. Tell your neighbor, I'm blessed, but I got a limp. <laughs> Prophet Fisher, I think one of the biggest mistakes we make as believers as relates to the blessing we see the blessings of God as things. And the blessing is not things. Because if the things come and go, then we would be on an emotional roller coaster. That's why so many people get messed up and say, I'm trying to get blessed. What they're really saying is, I'm trying to get some stuff. But when you really have the blessings of God that maketh rich and addeth no sorrow with it, then you are blessed. Let, let me explain something. When, when the blessing comes, it, it, it forces you to be rich and it adds no sorrow. The things are just not uh, the only thing that comes. The things are the benefits of the blessings. Again, the things are the fruit of the root, which is the blessing. We error because we say, I'm, I'm not blessed because I don't have this. And we keep up with the, the Joneses. The blessings is much more than things. You can work for things. Uh, don't diminish the blessing to that. It's much more than that. The blessings is better and higher than material things. You don't believe me, uh, Prophet Adele? Uh, it says in Ephesians 1 and 3 that God has set his people. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Uh, in spiritual places, we are blessed. Y'all ain't saying nothing. With all spiritual blessings in Christ Jesus. Uh, the blessings is a spiritual thing. Whenever you get the revelation that it's a spiritual thing, it, it, it is God who blesses you. You you walk in it. You're clothed in it. You're wrapped in it. You 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 you, you get up in the morning and you're blessed. You're riding on the bus and you're blessed. You don't have a car. You got a car, but it's a diamond in the back, sunroof top, digging the scene with a guy. You just age yourself. You're blessed no matter whether you're walking or you're driving. Y'all ain't saying nothing. God is not like your baby daddy. Y'all ain't saying nothing. He doesn't make a promise and then takes it back. God is not like an absentee landlord. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Somebody got excited about the baby daddy. You, you, matter of fact, I prophesied to one woman watching right now. You watch what I'm telling you. In the next 60 days, God said, I'm getting ready to give you back child support. Somebody jump up and shout about it right now. And so, and so, it, 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 it's the case that so many times we think because we messed up, then we're not blessed. Y'all ain't saying nothing. So many of you went through 2017 and think because of what you did and how you messed up that the blessing left you. But I come to announce to you that the blessing is still on your life no matter what you've been through. That's why, watch me ease into the text, Apostle. That's why I use the Jacob. Jacob, y'all ain't saying nothing. The cheetah. Jacob, the supplanter. 
trickster. Jacob, the trickster. Jacob, the heel. Because Jacob is the son of Isaac, the brother of Esau, who when they were born, held on to the heel of Esau. Y'all ain't saying nothing. He didn't let him go because he knew that whoever got out first, y'all ain't saying nothing, that's who would be blessed. After Jacob is born, I, I feel like I'm getting excited. After Jacob is born, he takes two things from his brother Esau. Number one, he takes the birthright. Number two, don't scream at me like that, he takes the blessing. It was the custom that the blessing would go to the firstborn. Jacob plays on his father's old age. He plays on his father's weakness. Y'all ain't saying nothing. And he pimps his father for the blessing. Y'all ain't saying nothing. With a pot of beans. Y'all ain't saying nothing. In Genesis 27, he tricks his father for the birthright and the blessing. Let me make an announcement to you. Once the blessing is on your life, it cannot be stopped. It is not irrevocable. It is not irreversible. Thank you for them two hands right now. Let me say it again to you, believer. Once the blessing is on your life, the devil in hell can't take it from you. Y'all ain't your mama can't take it from you. Your jealous cousin, baby, and Ray Ray. It cannot be stopped. And I command right now the blessing that was spoken on your life when you was in your mother's womb. It's still on you. I don't care what you did. I don't care how you messed up. Somebody jump up right quick and say it's still on me. And so uh, it, it couldn't it couldn't be reversed. I, I told you the blessings of God are irrevocable, but you may say, Bishop, he stole it. He tricked him for it. He bamboozled him for it. He played him. It, it was gained illfully. He did it. Uh, yeah, yeah, he did. But once it was pronounced, y'all ain't saying nothing, because what you must understand, the blessing is not things. It is a pronouncement by God. No matter who don't like you, you ain't helping me, brother. No matter who don't like you, no matter how jealous they are of you God blesses he pronounces it and the devil in hell can't do nothing about it the Bible says in Genesis 27 and 35 you ain't helping me Fisher Esau Genesis 30, 27 35 Esau comes to his father and discusses the matter with him asks him don't you have another blessing for me he told him he said you will live by the sword and off the land and not and not heavens do the Bible says that Esau hated Jacob y'all ain't saying nothing has anybody ever been hated because of what's on you y'all ain't saying that. has anybody ever been hated you ain't even got it yet, but they hate you. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Touch your neighbor and say, neighbor, I ain't even got where I'm going yet. And you already hate me. You know what they hate? They hate the possibility of who you going to become. I'm preaching, Sean. Look at somebody say, neighbor, I hate the possibility. They hate the possibility of who you becoming. They don't like it because they smell something on you. They smell all on you. Y'all ain't saying nothing. They hate where you're going. They don't like where are they going? Oh, uh, you must understand. Don't you do that. You must understand. In Genesis 27, 41, he plots to kill Jacob. I'm climbing the mountain now, Vernus. I ain't going to need your help in a minute. Auto Polly getting ready to hook in June. After his father's death, he plots to kill Jacob. You must understand there are people that are plotting to take you out, but no weapon formed against you. Y'all ain't, they don't like your expansion, Apostle Edmonds. They don't like where you're going, but you need to understand and the steps mm -hmm. Sandra Riley if you walk if you watching right now I feel my bishop anointed the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord I came to tell somebody that's watching right now get to walking get to moving God is enlarging you every time they hate you God said I'm expanding you the more they hate you thou prepare the table before me it ain't until I sit with my haters until he anoints my head I'm preaching and so, Craig, you must understand what you've done in the past. I'm freeing somebody tonight. Therefore, now there is no condemnation. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Who the Son is set free is free indeed. I don't care what your past look like. It doesn't matter. It don't stop the blessing. I don't care what you've been through. It don't stop the blessing. No matter how much you messed up in the past, people will try to disqualify you. Say you don't deserve it. I'm coming, Keisha. Say, I'm coming, Keisha. Uh, 
heart say, you know what? You don't deserve to be blessed because of what you've done. Look at somebody and say, neighbor, because of all the hell I've been through, that actually qualifies me for the blessing. You only say, people will hate you because of the blessing on you. They want what you have. That's why the Bible calls them the accuser of the brethren. Y'all ain't saying nothing. They accuse you. I, I got a call earlier today. They said, Bishop, I, I, I need to know something because I posted some pictures showing my journey of weight loss. And a devil called me and said, you need to stop posting them pictures of, of your stomach, girl. I said, tell the religious demon. I said, go to hell. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Back to the pit of hell. Well, she said, you know what she said? She said it was a preacher. I said, I don't care. We got to get off this religiosity. I don't even know if that's a word. Y'all ain't saying nothing. When God begins to bless you, you need to show the world. Y'all ain't, I don't care if it's weight loss, whatever. And so you must understand because of the blood of Jesus, no matter how much you messed up, your righteousness is intact according to your faith. They will plot to kill you because of the blessing. But isn't it good to know, y'all ain't saying nothing, isn't it good to know that no matter what your past, how they hate on you in 2017, how they plotted to kill you, y'all ain't saying nothing. Touch somebody and say, your blessing can't be stopped. The backdrop of the text in eight minutes, Keisha, Genesis 32 and 22, his family was with him as Esau was trying to chase him. How many realize that your past will haunt you? How many, how many realize that your past will keep you up all night long? How many realize, don't you stand up on me, Fisher? How many realize that your past will haunt you? How many realize your past will chase you? Let me tell you something. If you ain't never been chased by your past, that means you're not blessed. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Many of us got it messed up. We think we're not blessed because we're going through hell. On the contrary, you are blessed. That's why you're going through hell. Yes, sir. Come on. See, being blessed doesn't negate you having to deal with your past. Being blessed doesn't negate me having to deal with the stuff that I did. Esau, his past. Esau hunts him down. Jacob is consistently on the run. He's blessed but still dealing with his past. I'm in verse number 23. He sends all his family away. And the Bible says... And Jacob, y'all ain't saying nothing. I'm about to get happy. And Jacob was left alone. Have you ever been blessed but left alone? Y'all ain't saying nothing. Have you ever been blessed and isolated? Have you ever been blessed and nobody have nothing to do with you? The burden of being blessed but still alone. Now y'all ain't saying nothing. There's a burden when you want to be blessed. Everybody say, I want to be blessed. Everybody say, I want to be this. But you don't know the burden that comes along with being blessed. Do you, can you? Matter of fact, come here, Bishop Jakes. What you want, Bishop? Can you stand to be blessed? Sometimes being blessed will cause you to be alone, isolated, blessed but alone, blessed but isolated, blessed but don't know what to do next, blessed but I need a word from God, blessed but something's happening on the inside of me, blessed but I need a change. Y'all ain't saying nothing. The Bible says in verse 24, out of nowhere, he was left alone believing to talk with God. But instead, number one, he wrestled with an angel. Has anybody here ever wrestled? Y'all ain't saying nothing wrestled in your faith wrestled in your dream y'all ain't say I'm, I'm talking to a woman in California right now you've been wrestling with your purpose wrestling with your possibility wrestling with where God is taking wrestling with your career I came to tell you right now ain't nothing wrong with wrestling that's what you did in 2017 you wrestled to get here I got an announcement from God thank you God give it to me right now I got an announcement from God right now because you wrestled in 2017 17. God said you qualify for the blessing of 218. Y'all ain't saying nothing because you wrestled all of 2000. Look like January, February, March, April, May. I don't want to preach too hard because CCOD will say I preach this hard on TV. But I got some folk in here that been wrestling. I need you to understand your wrestling was not in vain. The angel shows up. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Don't look at him strange because we all wrestle with something. Y'all ain't saying nothing. We're wrestling with our past. 
the stench of our past. It said, Jacob wrestled until the breaking of day. I got scripture for that, Janetta Hatcher. Weeping may endure for a night. Y'all ain't saying nothing. But joy, when does joy come? You ain't helping me, honey. Joy comes when you decide to wake up. Is there anybody that's watching me right now? Bring it close to me. It's time for you to get up. It's time for you to get up from that weeping. It's time to dry your eyes. Come here, Stevie Wonder, what you want? My eyes don't cry no more. My heart don't ache no more. Is there anybody here? You've been wrestling through the night. Watchmen, what of the night? Y'all ain't saying nothing. He wrestled all night long. The next part I want to get to, he wrestled all night long. Then the day began to break. And the Bible says, are you ready for it? And he prevailed. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Not the angel. Not the angel. The angel didn't prevail. Jacob prevailed. I got an announcement for 200 people that's watching me right now. God told me to tell you, don't you hoop like that. It's my time. I came to announce to 200 people, you have prevailed. Y'all ain't saying nothing. It's sunlight. Welcome to a new year. Welcome to a new season. Welcome to a new dimension. Welcome to a new day. He prevailed. That means he won. Y'all ain't saying nothing. The Bible says he prayed. I mean, he, in other words, he made it through the night. I, I got an announcement. You, you made it through the night. Y'all ain't saying nothing. You made it through all of 2017. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. What are you saying, Bishop? Because you prevailed all year in 2017, God is about to give you eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. I got five minutes. No, it hasn't entered the heart. Oh, Y'all ain't saying nothing. Whatever you've been wrestling for, God said this is your year to walk in your God-given dream. God said you have won. And the Bible says he prevails. And the angel turns around and says, huh, you, you, you won, okay? You, you, you won. You, you, you got it. You, you, you beat. But watch this. The angel, the angel says, he says, uh, what, what's, your, what's your name? I, I, I want to know your name. He said, my name is Jacob Trickster. Uh, Jacob supplanter uh, Jacob uh, tell but y'all ain't saying nothing because before you go into your blessed place y'all ain't saying nothing you gotta look one more time at your past y'all ain't saying nothing matter of fact I want three people to shout right now because you made it through your past but God said y'all ain't saying nothing God said you're not to, you ain't praying for me there God said you're not about to walk into your 2017 with the pity party you had last 2018 with your pity party you're not gonna walk in here in sorrow I come to make an announcement to everybody watching me right now every pity I'm coming every pity party has been canceled you're not coming into this year in sorrow he said I'm giving you beauty for your ashes I'm pouring don't you preach for me I'm pouring in the all of joy for the spirit of heaviness so, so look what happens. Look what happens. He takes, the angel takes, he takes his hand and puts it in the hollow of Jacob's thigh. And he begins to limp. No, he's saying nothing. He begins to limp. Everybody, come close. Everybody got a limp. Don't, don't sit there looking at me like that because everybody everybody got a limp some of us been through divorce we got we got we got limps don't don't, don't go ahead we, we didn't been through divorce we we didn't lost money we didn't lost jobs we didn't lost this business we we were every, every everybody got a limp that's every, everybody got something your mom and daddy wasn't married when they had you you were you were brought here in molestation every Hold on, everybody, every, every, hold on, I just, every, everybody, follow me, every, everybody got a limp. The, the problem is, is that he then blessed him with his limp. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I came to make an announcement to you that this year, last year, you allowed your limp to hinder your blessings. But the, you ain't helping me out, Vernus. Yeah, I don't need it now. I'm on co-pilot. But this year, God said, you're going to be blessed with your limp. With all the hell that you've been through, you're going to walk into 2018 limping. Y'all ain't saying nothing. You hear that sound? 
that you marching into your new year. That you marching. Yo, yeah, you got a limp. You've been through it. Don't stand up with me. You, you've been through hell. Y'all ain't saying that. But that's the sound for you no matter what to start walking. Y'all ain't saying nothing with your limp. Y'all ain't saying nothing. I don't care what you've been through. God said this year, you're going to make it with your limp. Even though you've been through depression, keep on walking with your limp. Even though people don't talk about you, keep on walking with your limp. Even though people don't lie on your ministry, keep on walking with your limp. Even though you spend lonely days, keep on walking with your limp. I don't know what your limp is. But keep on walking with your limp. I want everybody that got limps right now. I need you to understand that you're blessed with your limp. And the angel blessed Jacob. And he called the place Peniel. For I've seen God face to face. Don't preach for me, Hatcher. I've seen God face to face. Tonight, you're seeing God in a real way. You're seeing God in a new way, face to face. And here's what it says. And Jacob walked away from the place that he saw God. Wasn't nobody there. He was there by himself. He was limping. What's your, what's your limp? What, what is it that's causing you to think that you can't have what God says you can have in spite of what you've been through? You're not just going to walk into your blessing. Though you may have to limp in 2018, it's not going to hinder your blessing. 855-730-WORD. I'm coming. I want you to get a seed in your hand. I want 10 people that will sow a seed of $218. 10 people. I'm going to still send you the packet. Ten people. I, I don't want you to worry about the packet. I want you to tell the operator, say, I just heard the bishop talking about the limp. I want you to call him and say, I got a limp, but I'm still blessed. And I'm putting seed in the ground for this year. I'm putting it on the third day of January. And I'm believing that God is going to do exceedingly. A but I need ten of you. I need to, there are three of you in California. God just spoke to me. There's one in Miami, Florida. There's another one in New York City right now. $218. There's one person that will say, Bishop, God has been good to me. You will sow $2,018. Get to the phone, 855-730-WORD. Everybody else, with your limp, get $88 in your hand right now. 100 people that will get, I want to send you the living the dream. I'm coming, Keisha. Declaration card. I want to send you seasons of preparation and ministry. I want to send you the art of spiritual warfare. But most of all, I want you to keep on walking with your limp. Saying, sir. I'm tired, broken, my innocence stolen, and I know I'm a different man. See, life hits and life hurts. Think I've seen some of life's worst, but you've been here so you understand. See, I fell and I broke something, but I couldn't tell because I kept running away from your love and grace. So my trips and my pains, my failures, they only make me seek your, seek your face. The devil hoped this injury would make me stop and take defeat, but I know Jesus walks with me, so I'll just keep on walking with my limp, 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 limp. Just keep on walking with my limp, 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 limp. Just keep on walking with my limp, 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 limp. Just keep on walking with my limp, limp, limp. I'm imperfect, so I slipped up and I had my heart. 
heart's ripped up, but you're the lifter of my head. So please come and please heal how I think and how I feel, and I'll do just what your word says. Heavy laden, come to me, the sick, the flawed, the lame, the weak, and I'll be every. Just keep on walking with my ling 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 Just keep on walking with my limp. Take your seat. 855-730 word. My mother's name was Esther Cagnoletti. I was raised in New York. My mother was a prostitute. I was raised by her and her seven year living R and B scene boyfriend. But when I was nine years old, my father said to her. Let him come to Detroit. My parents can raise. The name was Reverend Ananias Davis, First Lady Jenny, Jenny Davis. I had never heard about God until I got here. Why are you saying that? Because I got a limp. God uses people with their limps. He uses them to reach the world. I'm not standing here because... I don't have a limp. I'm standing here with my limp. I have not allowed who my mother was. Some people live their whole life talking about what their mother didn't do and what their father didn't do. And we'll get over it. Thank you for those two hand claps. Be delivered. Be healed. You talking about let the healing begin? There's some things that we will never get rid of. Why are you allowing it? I got an announcement for you from the Holy Ghost. You're free to move about the kingdom right now. Jackie, $775 from Georgia. Sadie, Brenda, Beverly from New York, Yolanda, $88. <coughs> Anthony, New Jersey, Iowa, South Carolina, Mary, New York, Mildred, Texas, $88. Jeffrey, Eleanor, Lois, Cheryl, New York, $88. 
There are 10 of you. Come join me. Come join me, woman of God. Apostle Sharon Edmonds is in the house. $88 seed, 100 of you. I want to send you the book, The Art of Spiritual Warfare, Seasons of Preparation Ministry, the declaration card. I want to get this in your hand. The oil, the prayer cloth. We're going to cut it up at the end. There are 10 of you that will sow 218. There's one of you that will sow $2,018. Get to the phone right now. I want to call your name, 855-730-WORD. Tell us what heaven is saying for this year. <laughs> Clap your hands. My fault, my fault. Happy New Year. Come on, give the Lord a hand, everybody. Happy New Year to those that are watching this telecast tonight. What a word from God. What a move of God tonight. 2018 is certainly your year. I want to talk to you for a few minutes. To limp means to walk with a difficulty. Somebody say to walk. To walk with a difficulty and usually when a person has a limp something has happened to their leg or to their foot a leg represents a means of support come on, come on. now listen to me uh, Jacob is wrestling with the angel wrestling means that he's going through a situation and a circumstance and, and when he's wrestling bishop with the angel his, his thigh goes out of joy thigh represents strength some of you in 2017 as you went through your difficulty you lost strength which, which caused your leg your support to be affected but the good news tonight prophetically is 2018 is your year for greater. It doesn't matter your lamp. Greater is on the way. 2018 is the year of a winner's victory. I need somebody in TV land to lift your hand right now and shout, I shall win in 2000. And 18, there are 10 people that need to go now to your phone. There is a $218 seed that needs to be released. You need to dial 855-730-WORD. There are 100 people with a lamp that needs to release an $88 seed for a new beginning and watch this there's one individual God's leaning on you pressing on you pushing on you to release a $2,018 seed your limp will leave forever now God spoke to me before I came here he said I want you to challenge five people listen to me closely to release a $1,000 seed fly. Because Deuteronomy 1 and 11 says, God wants to make you 1,000 times greater in 2018 wow. than you were in 17. 1,000, somebody say times greater. Now, now, God wants to make me 1,000 times greater. He wants to bless me right in my lip, proven in the word of God. I'm glad you said it. Joel 2 and 23 says, number one, be glad. Get excited about 2018. And then the Bible says, rejoice. Why am I rejoicing? Uh-huh. He said, because I'm going to bless you with the latter and the former mixed together. Come on, come on. There is a recipe of double that God wants to release to you in 2018. But you must be obedient. You must dial 855. Somebody shout 730 word 
Jacob didn't give up. He wrestled. He wrestled up during the night. Some of you have been struggling during a night season. Uh -huh. You struggled all night long. But when daybreak came, Jacob had a name change. Somebody shout, there's been a shift. There's been a 2018 arrival. When the December 1159 pushed into January 1st, come on, 2018, there was a shift. That took yeah, place. Yeah, yeah. And your money, your miracle, your breakthrough, and your deliverance was released. Now, this is what the book of Joel says. It says, I'm going to bless you with the wheat, with the oil, and with the wine. Yeah. Somebody shout wheat, wheat. shout oil, oil, and shout wine. wine. I want to bless you with money. I want to bless you with material. I want to bless you with revelation. I want to bless you with ministry. And most of all, I want to bless you with healing and prophetic. Somebody lift your hand. That's doing right now. And shout, my body shall be healed. Somebody shout, my ministry shall grow. Somebody shout, my money shall increase. Somebody shout, I am getting better and greater because there's been a ship. One eight five five seven three zero word. Call now and watch the hand of God move on your behalf. Praise team is coming. Listen, stand up, everybody. Here, you take the mic back. I, I want you to hold up before you go to the phone. I want you to speak over their lives as they're sowing the seed right now. Yes. I want you to prophesy to mm -hmm. them. <laughs> speak to the east, the north, the right south, and the west. Shaking. And speak into their new beginning now. I speak to the north, the south, Shakare, the east, and the west. I command the four winds to blow on your behalf. Come on, Cynthia, release that $88 seed. Come on, Cheryl, release that $1,000 seed. Come on, come on, let's obey God. There are five of you that are standing now in your living room with your hand in the air. Release that $218 seed. I command you to call. I command you to obey God. That's right, you're being healed in your physical body, your mind is regulated right now. Your marriage is coming out of the toilet. You'll never be the same again. Spoke. Don't go nowhere. I, would you go in the back and pray for some of the people at the prayer room? Because sure. you, you do that well. Pastor Dane, I want you to go with her. And in just a few minutes, we're going to start cutting up. And we're standing here only because you May. I'm coming, Keisha. When I'm back, Five seven three zero word. Here's what the Lord said to me. 
There are some of you that God is getting ready to give a marketplace blessing. That means he's getting ready to give you favor in the marketplace. Your business is growing. I want the body of Christ to do. I, I, I kept on trying to shake this, Alvernus. Shh, shh. I kept on trying to shake this. I need y'all to pray for Tasha Cobb. Tomorrow morning, God has given her a platform that will blow people's mind yeah. on Good Morning America. A gospel singer. Yeah. Yeah. Call her name across the world. Yeah. Don't let your hater juice know because when God blesses her, He's getting ready to get. How are we going to stay in church in the four walls? This gospel shall be preached to every creature. I speak market. Don't leave me, Craig. Marketplace blessings. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, oh, I'm just, I speak marketplace blessings. Marlinda, you're healed right now. My daughter's at home. She's recovering. You're healed. God is healing you right now. God's touching you right now. 855, 100 of you. Tell me the song, Keisha. 100 of you. 100 of you. Okay, 100 of you right now. We'll sow $88. One person, 2018. 10 people, she said, 1,000. Those of you that would give that 218. While they're singing, this is the time to go to the phone. Next up, Apostle Michael Fisher, Compton, California. Sing your great name. Let's all lift our hands all over the room. How many of you know that there is power in the name Jesus? Come on, I know there's somebody out there. Know there's power in the name Jesus. Come on, wherever you are, just speak the name of Jesus into your own atmosphere. Hallelujah, it says. We love to call your name. It's something we cannot.
730 word. 855 736. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We have a victory. word 855-730 word call the number right now sow your seed of faith right now we're going to be praying in just a few minutes I love this young man's humility I met him through prophet McKinstry and God spoke to me say he has a prophetic word for this new year he came along with apostle uh, Hunter and did a program with us and one of the most talked about programs, he was on the spot. Soft-spoken, but carry a big stick. Prophet, apostle, Michael Fisher. Compton, is there anything good that comes out of Compton? Right here. Clap your hands, everybody. I know we've been doing it all night, but come on, can we make some noise in this building? I, I, I'm so excited. Um, I, I, I can't believe that God has blessed me with another opportunity to be able to speak to the masses. And when God gave me a word that I released um, over our house, I didn't have no idea that God would give me the opportunity to release it to the nations. And I, I, I believe that this is the year for the underdog. This is, this is the year for those that people that are snooty and snotty and want to act like you're not gifted and act like you don't have any potential and they've been purposely overlooking you. This is your season because there's a lot of people that have been sitting in the back and kind of saying, well, God, what about me? And God, have you forgotten about me? But 2018 is when God shall bring you from the back to the forward. And I'm not just talking about the people that are watching. I'm talking about every single person that's in this room right now. That's why I wish I had five people that had a trumpet in your throat where it would open up your mouth and holler right there and give God a scream right there. I just need about 20 of y'all to just jump up and say God's going to do it for the underdog. I'm excited. I'm excited, Bishop. And uh, you want to go to the phone lines. You want to go and dial 855-730-WORD. You want to go ahead and sow that $88. You want to sow the two eighteen. You want to sow the 2018. Um, God had me switch my whole plan for January in Compton because he said this has to be the first month where you talk about stewardship. And it's not so much talking about stewardship so that people will bring more money, but it's talking about stewardship so people can begin to change their mindset and how they're going to be able but to handle and be faithful on all the things I'm getting ready to place into their hands. And so with that being said, I, I, I came here with this message. God took me to two scriptures. He took me to Luke chapter 1 and verse 80, and then he took me to 1 Samuel chapter 17. And both of them uh, deal with the underdog at that moment. Luke chapter 1 and verse 80 says, And the child grew, talking about Jesus, and waxed, and waxed strong in spirit, and was in the deserts till the day of his showing unto Israel. Anyone that knows, knows that that was after he was 12. He comes back on the scene when he is 30. You're minus the one, carry the two, and do a couple of things, and then you have 17. 17 years that God grew him physically and God grew him spiritually. But here's what the word grew there means. It means discipline. And so I believe that in 2017, that was the year where God had to fine-tune those that were anointed. 
2017, God used private situations, private trials in order to check some of our attitudes, check some of our smart mouths, check how we easy or shady and petty. And then now God says, now that I have taught you how to discipline your flesh and taught you how to discipline your spirit, and now you're asking for the things that you want to only please me, now in 2018, I'm getting ready to give you a public presentation. Because at the end of the 17 years of him growing physically and growing spiritually, it says that then after that season, he then was presented or he was shown unto Israel. Someone say, God's going to show me. God's going to show me. God's going to someone holler. God's going to show me. I'm talking to somebody that's on the couch that's in the bed, somebody that's watching, somebody that's watching by your laptop, your iPhone, your Android. And I want you to know that God has been fine tuning you. He has not forgotten about you. This is the year where God is going to take those uh, that didn't mind being crushed uh, and didn't mind being stepped on and didn't mind having God tell you just hold on, keep your mouth shut. Just go ahead and let the counterfeits go forward. He says now in 2018 I'm getting ready to switch it. I'm getting ready to bring those that were in the back. I'm getting ready to put you in the front. Someone holler. He's going to put me in the front. Someone holler. He's going to put me in the front. Uh, he's going to put you in the front. Someone holler it again. He's going to put me in the front. Then God took me to 1 Samuel chapter 17, where now we see that David now had been tending to his father's business, and now he shows up on the scene just to serve some cheese to the army, and it says, and then Goliath began to taunt, and all of a sudden the warrior him rose up, and now he was presented as the one he was always anointed to be. But it took conflict, and it took a wrestle, and it took a battle in order to bring forth the warrior out of David and God sent me here to declare to those that are in this studio and to declare to those that are watching right now that God says that the battle you went through 2017 didn't do nothing but unlock the warrior that is on the inside of you now watch this now watch this here's where comes this here comes the seed part because now in 2018 God says now in 17 I allowed you to rise up against generational battles because Goliath represented the Philistines and the Philistines and the Amalekites are old enemies and they were people that the Israelites had to fight for generations but yet David came on the scene and defeated a giant that belonged to a generational people that rose up against his people y'all missed that 2017 was a year when God allowed you to fight generational curses and now 2018 you're coming out of the valley as proof that giants do die and the thing that tried to raise up against your granddaddy and your auntie it shall die and it shall not live in your house and I wish I had 20 people holler right there cause 2018 is gonna be the year where God presents you as proof that whatever rose up against you could not kill you, it could not kill your anointing, it could not kill your power, it could not kill your ministry, it could not kill your vision it could not kill your nonprofit. It could not kill your orphanage. It could not kill your book. It could not kill your plan. It could kill none of it. And here's where you all need to shout. I don't see nobody shouting, but I wish I had five folks shout on this. 2018, everybody shall see that giants cannot kill you. No, y'all missed that. I need somebody to jump up and holler. The giant did not kill me. Now watch this. Here's the next holler because it's not good enough that he came out of the valley as proof that the giant could not kill him. But he comes out of the valley holding in his hand the head of a Goliath, which means 2018 shall be the year where you do not come out of 2017 with your hands empty. And everybody is waiting to February to shout. But while I was sitting over there, the spirit of the Lord told me, declare to the nations and declare to the kingdom that in the month of January, I'm getting ready to feel your hands. I wish I had 30 of y'all just put those hands together and holler God is getting ready to feel my hands. Those that are watching, you need to go and you need to call right now. 855-730-WORD. You need to give the 218. You need to give the $88. You need to give the $2,018. My soul is excited because God says that both of these individuals, both David and Jesus, 
because watch this, are presented in a season of chaos and crisis. And so in this season, it is important that you sow a seed in the season where our country is in chaos and crisis. Because God says, if you can sow a seed in a season of chaos and crisis, he will put evidence in your hand and evidence in your life that he is with you. He has always been with you. He's going to continue to be with you. And that's not just for the people that are watching. That is for the seven people in here that has a trumpet in your throat that can open up your mouth and holler like God has already given it to you. As I was sitting here, Bishop, and I'm about to be done, the Lord began to show me the pastors and the ministers that are here. And God began to speak to me. And he said, tell them that, that, that I know very much so the seeds, watch this, that they have sown into ground that they thought would bring them a harvest, but the ground tricked them. And God said in 2018, a massive return, only if you believe it, you'll scream there. A massive return, only if you believe it, you'll holler there. And the people will holler with you. Because when the leaders get the return, the people will get the return. God said, everybody in here, I don't see nobody hollering at me. He said, a massive, a massive return is getting ready to hit every person in this studio right now. And if you don't shout like you already got it, you don't deserve it. But those that are watching, he said, you better jump up on the living room. Pull over and shout in your office. Because God said a massive return is getting ready to hit your house. Lord knows I ain't here to preach. But shake your neighbor's hand like you're going to shake it off. And holler at her. Say, neighbor, I've been in the desert long enough. But 2018, a massive, say it from your chest. Say a massive return is getting ready to hit my house. Now open your mouth and give God a holler. I've been excited ever since I got the call to get here because I remember sitting in the cut. That's me saying Compton. Sitting in the cut. Watching shows like this, going to studio sessions, showing up just to support, and God speaking to me and saying, one day, day. it will be your turn. And three of y'all missed where you could have jumped up and turned around in your seat. Because God says, this is the season where it is now going to be your turn. Can I get anybody to jump up and turn around real quick and say, I don't care what nobody says, it's about to be my turn. Yes, it is. I said, somebody jump up again and turn around again and tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I supported everybody else's turn. I shouted and everybody else. Go, go to the phone. Go to the phone. It's your turn. You better call right now. 855-730-WORD. You better give the $88, the 218, the 2018. Because I'm telling you, in my God, God is getting ready to release a financial breakthrough. He's getting ready to give us property that we didn't even know that we wanted. He's about to enlarge our territory. Someone shout, do it, God. I just got the, the, this man of God right here. This man of God right here. I, I, I may be out of order, but man of God, I just want to tell you something. Uh, and it's an easy scripture. We all know it, but it pertains to you specifically. That there are people that purposely see what God is getting ready to do in enlarging your territory and taking you from just local. When I say local, I mean the states to international and I'm purposely trying not to bring up your name in right rooms and God said that he's getting ready to bring your name up anyway to prove that you have been called by him and no denomination reformation or nobody has any kind of anointing over your life I wish somebody would shout like that's your brother hallelujah thank you Jesus go to the phone I was I was and I want to praise him just to do about two minutes uh listen I was impressed. Let me hear you, Craig. 
I was impressed. Stand up, everybody. There are pastors that are hurting. Men and women of God, tonight, young preachers, young preachers, because the fathers want to be the sons and the sons want to be the fathers. We don't have no more fathers because they're trying to be young. And we don't have no more sons because they want what the fathers got. It's all mixed up. But the Holy Ghost just spoke to me and said, God is putting things in order. The fathers are going to stand in their places and the sons are going to stand to receive. I promise God the rest of my life, I will push. That's why you see Pastor Dana, and I'm impressed with the Lord. I'm going to say something about her in just a minute. But listen, every pastor, every man of God, every woman of God, you shall make it. I know that sounds simple. 1,500 pastors, preachers, they quit a month. You shall live and not die and declare and decree the word of the Lord. But you have to do what we do. You have to do what the people do. We've gotten to the place now, we ask the people to give and we don't give. We raise offerings and we don't give. Every pastor, every preacher that's watching, get seed in the ground tonight. 855 730 word. Get a seed of $88 in your hand. Pastors, write it from your church. Get your church credit card. You use it for everything else. So sow a seed tonight. 855 730 word. Apostle Michael Hunter is coming. Would you go in the back and pray for pastors? He's going to pray for pastors in the back. Prophet Alvernus, would you go back there for five minutes with him and pray and prophesy to pastors? I need some names out here. 855 730 730 word right now two minutes y'all pulling me through word 855730 word praise team y'all can actually stay there uh, we're going to minister healing in just a minute I want to take these prayer cloths and anoint them tonight Pastor Dana and Prophetess Edmonds and all of them are going to join us in just a minute the women of God Pastor Hatcher and we're going to begin to cut as we speak healing along with pouring oil on these and we're going to send you a bottle of oil Ray if you can get it up there for me right quick I'm sorry Declaration card. Mr. Greg Davis, 2018 declaration card. This year I live my God-given dream. Number 16, this year I will put all my energy and effort into seeing my dream manifest and brought to reality. Scriptures, you need this in your hand. You need it, you need it, you need it. Pastors, you need it. I had some of my sons and daughters say, we're gonna get it blown up and put it in our church. Seasons of preparation of ministry. 
the various seasons that you go through, and of course, the art of spiritual warfare, engaging the enemy, expecting victory. Five items. I want you to sow that seed of $88 right now, 100 of you. One of you will sow $2,018, 10 of you $218. Get the seed in the ground. Everybody's standing on your feet. Apostle Michael Hunter, what is God saying tonight? God is saying that K, there's a K watching me from New York City right now. God says, dial a number, 855-730-WORD, and sow that $88 seed and expect that miracle in the next three days. Expect that son that has been missing to knock on your door in the next three days. There's a Margaret that is watching me also. I'm seeing a Rikina Kita Peebles that is watching me in New York. God says your healing is now. God is healing you of every pain in your head. God is touching you in the lower area of your back. All he's saying is to dial this number, 855-730-WORD, and sow into your healing. Sow into fertile ground. Sow into ground that is saturated with the miraculous healing and the anointing of the Most High God. There's a suicide watching me right now. There's so many people from the New York era. God says, Suzette, your husband is coming home. Never more to Rome. He's coming right home to you. God says, dial this number. 855-730-WORD. And God is challenging you. God is saying that you should sow an $800 seed. Now, within the economy of the jungle, you'll never see a lion eat grass. You'll always see a lion eat meat. Now also, let me tell you this. Within the economy of the jungle, you'll never see a rat in the same class like a cat. God is saying today that your miracle, your destiny has changed. No longer will you live at the same address because I'm about to promote you. I'm about to release the finances. I'm about to le release the prosperity anointing upon your life. That you will own your own home. You'll stop renting. But you'll own your own home. That vehicle which you have been struggling. There's a Roderick that is watching me right now. From North Carolina. You have been struggling to pay the car payments. God says your struggle is over. All you need to do is sow that $88 seed. 8 plus 8. It's a new thing. It's a double portion. It means prosperity, new beginning. It means new wealth. It means new opportunities. It means that doors are being opened left, right, and center. Whether you turn to the north, the south, or the east, the doors are open. God says, I'm about to divinely connect you with the right connections. There's a Sandra that is watching me right now in Fort Lauderdale. God says, you're being healed. That tumor in your body is going, going, gone like an auctioner in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And as you watch me, God says, dial this number, 855-730-WORD, and get that seed into the miraculous ground of the Word Network. Where we're standing here, it's holy ground. Where we're standing here, it's a supernatural soil that will create the next harvest, that will create the promotion on the job, that will create the marriage that you've been asking God for, that will create the supernatural promotion that you've been asking God to give you on the job. You don't need to have a master to get that promotion. All you need is dial 855-730-WORD and sow into fertile ground. And you know, for those who are viewing with us tonight, I want to reach out to those who are not safe. I want to give you an opportunity to know Jesus Christ. I want you to dial this number, 855-730-WORD. And there's an operator on the next app. As you sow that $88 seed, that operator will lead you to Christ Jesus. But I want you to say this simple prayer with me tonight. Dear Jesus, before the visible and the invisible, I give my heart, my mind, and my soul to thee, dear Lord. 
and I thank you that the limp is over. That financial limp is destroyed by the power of the Holy Spirit. That financial limp is destroyed because I dial this number. 855-730 word and sow that seed. Wow. There's five pastors that is watching me. As a matter of fact, there's a pastor by the name of Reverend. Get ready. Dr. Carlos Reed from Bahamas. God says, dial this number tonight. And so 855-730 word. So right now, that $800 seed. As a matter of fact, God says, you can do better than $800. You can do $8,000. And God says, I'm about to release a million dollar seed for you and your ministry. This is your season. It's an open heaven. I want those who are watching right now to dial this number and sow that uncommon seed. Bishop. Everybody. Everybody stand on your feet. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Lift your hands as you're calling right now. I want Pastor Dana, Pastor Edmonds, I want y'all to come and begin to cut the prayer cloths in the basket. Lift your hands, everybody. So, Father, we believe you now. Then sing my song, my seed. Hurry, 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 hurry. To thee. Come on. How great thou art. Come on, come on. How great thou art. Come on, say it. In sings my song. My Savior God to thee. How great. How great thou art. Time then sing. sings my soul, my Savior God to me. How great thou art. How great. How great. standing on holy ground we are standing on holy ground and I know that there are angels all around let us pray Hey, Jesus now, we are standing on holy ground. Lift your hands. I speak to somebody with migraine headaches right now. Let your power fall now. I speak to somebody that has lower stomach pains. Touch the screen right now. Somebody, you, there's a sharp pain that's been going through your, your left leg. I need somebody to begin to move your mouth right now. Begin to pray in the spirit. I speak to somebody right now. You're, you've been having problems with your throat right now. God is healing you right now. With your stripes. Jesus, they are healed right now. Somebody with arthritis. Woman, begin to move. There's a fair-skinned woman right now. Begin to move your limbs right now. God is touching you right now. Somebody right now, you have excruciating pains in your back. God just touched you right now. Let the healing begin right now. Let it begin. Somebody right now, you've been having problems with it's like in, in your section of your feet around your toes there's pain God is touching you right now 
I speak to eye pains. I speak to right now. Somebody right now, God is God is touching and clearing up your eyesight right now. I speak right now. Somebody right now, God is God is touching your ears right now. I speak healing right now. Right now. Go, go come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, I decree and declare the power of God. Right now in your home, God is touching you right now. Father, we give you praise. God is touching your mind. I come against the spirit of depression. Come on, speak, sir. Come on, speak, sir. Every spirit of depression, every spirit that's suicide, I command that to leave right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I declare and decree a sound mind. Every spirit that has been coming against your destiny, I move it out of the way with the power of the Holy Spirit. I declare and decree instantaneous victory. I declare and decree every cancer in the body. I command it to be gone back to the pit of hell in the name of Jesus. Diabetes, I command it heal. High blood pressure, I command it heal. Palace in the, in the lawyer of the back, I command it gone. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, God says you're coming out to be a victory. You're coming out to go up on the mountaintop. You're coming out with a testimony. You're coming out with your miracle. You're coming out with your harvest. You're coming out with your deliverance. You're coming out to show off on the devil that you have made it through Christ Jesus. Get ready, get ready. United States of America, this year shall be a new year. I'm seeing a well transfer coming to the body of Christ. For the Christians who have been believing in God, for the Christians who have been laboring in prayer and fasting, God says, I'm about to release finances into your hands. Get ready. Suddenly, many Christians shall be entrepreneurs. Get ready. Suddenly, many people, many Christians shall be paymasters. Where I see you writing the checks for other persons. God says this is a turnaround season for the church, and the church shall win. Say the spirit of the living God. 855 730 word. 855 730 word. Tamika, Tennessee. Ernestine, Maryland. Michael, Florida. Patrick, Georgia. Daphne, New York. Tyrone, New York. Brenda, New York. Patricia, Illinois. Alice, Florida. Ernestine, California. Ethel, California, Oprah, New Jersey, $88, Annie, California, Jacqueline, Illinois, let the healing begin, speak, sir. There's a woman watching tonight, your name is Francis, and you're dealing with severe seizures. How? You're being healed right now of the seizures in Jesus' name. There's a woman who was in a hospital, watching from your hospital bed, having suffered a brain aneurysm. God is healing you right now in the name of Jesus. There's mental illness being healed right now in Jesus' name. Schizophrenia right now in Jesus' name. Bipolar diseases are being healed tonight in Jesus' name. Those who are dealing with depressions and mental depression, clinical depressions are being healed tonight in Jesus' name. God is regulating your mind tonight. He's causing every mental illness, every spirit of harassing and rape and molestation is pushed you into a place and a car right now but God I see a dark place but you're coming out of that dark place in Jesus name Laura you're being healed of the scars in your heart tonight now in ah, Jesus name tonight is your night for healing but misery free. is being broken right now in Jesus name say oh oh everybody let the healing let how your hands all over. Let how free. Come on, join. On me. Say oh. Come on, y'all. Grab them up. Let
So Father, stand to the side and just lay hands. So Father, now we speak to nations that shall get these prayer cloths. We speak to the north, the east, the south, and west. And Father, we send the anointing from these studios in Southfield, Michigan. The Word Network, where the Word of God goes out 24 hours, 7 days a week. Where men and women of God preach the oracles of God. People shall be healed of arthritis. People shall be healed of, of disease, all manner of blood diseases and cancer. Because of these prayer cloths right now. And this anointing all. We touch and agree right now. As they get them in their homes. Prosperity. Will come into their homes. Healing. Will come into their homes. New anointings. Pastors will preach like never before. And we decree and declare. We will live the dream that God has given us like never before. So father we pray for them right now. And we touch them right now. And we say let the healing begin. Every book that'll go out. Every declaration that'll go out. We speak it now. By the power of God right now. In the name of Jesus. Somebody point your hands this way right now. In Jesus name. And we speak to the nation. We speak to the world. Let the healing begin. In Afghanistan. Let the healing begin. In the Philippines. Let the healing begin in England right now. Let the healing begin in Australia, in British Columbia, in Africa, all over the world. Let your healing begin right now. We speak it in New York. We speak it in California. We speak it in the British Columbia. We speak it in the Bahamas. I decree and declare every ministry that's open shall flourish. We speak healing to pastors, apostles, teachers, prophets, bishops, in Jesus' name, to the marketplace. Go forth. Let the healing, let the healing, let the healing begin. Let the healing begin. Let the healing begin. Let the healing 